Hello, I'm Matt. This is the new Now TV box by Sky, the new um, HD 720p streaming box for Sky um, TV services over your broadband. <coughs> it's a little box. Well, this is the cable box, obviously. A little box inside that um, connects to your Wi Fi, comes with a remote HDMI cable and batteries, and it allows you to watch Sky TV over broadband through your TV or monitor. So, let's open this thing up. Let's just cut the seal. Carefully. There you go. Oops, excuse me. So now, inside, you'll see. Let's get started. Yep, let's get started indeed. Not really interested in that though. Interested in this. Little box itself. Now TV powered by Sky. Now then. On the front we have the infrared receiver. I think that's also an LED indicator as well. Um, that's the bottom. You've got a rubber a very sort of soft dark blue rubbery grip here um, a stamped rubber band to keep it on your surface nice and firmly you got a H HDMI port AV port that's AV out a reset and DC in um, comes with these nice plastic seals which you can pull off should you choose to where are they these sort of plastic film things. Anyway, I won't do that for the moment. You've got a remote control here, which is very nicely designed. It comes covered in protective film. So we'll pull that off. There we go. And on the IR transmitter which is also a very nice shade of blue. Same sort of blue theme all throughout the device. Okay. Inside the box, inside the carton, you have a mains adapter. As you can see. Package mains adapter, which is Uh, 5.2 volts, 1.5 amps DC. Made in China, of course. Isn't everything? And you also get inside this carton here. Once I work out how to open it, hmm, a puzzle for fun. There we go. It was obvious, wasn't it? hole there. There's your packaging. Let's put the packaging to one side. So inside here you get <coughs> standard HDMI cable. And two two unbranded Raymax AAA batteries, which are of course for the remote control. But at the moment we won't use those. We're not going to use those. We're going to tear this thing down. So there's remote control. It's a nice design actually. It's very nice. Very, um, very tactile buttons on it. Very nice. They feel very, very nice and responsive when you click them. You can hear that. Very nice. Nicely sort of curved sculptured back there with a thumb grip or a finger grip. 
very nice. Battery recess. Keep forgetting the camera's upside down. There we go. Designed in USA, assembled in China. This device is actually designed and made by Roku, I think, or Roku, whatever they're called. Roku, Roku. So, <coughs> here is the Now TV. And what I'm going to do now, pardon the pun, is lower the camera a bit. Hopefully not knocking it over. And I'm going to show you how to get into the device. So what you do, get your finger out, and on one of these corners, grip the rubber edge of the of the uh, rubber foot and lift it up. You may get sticky glue everywhere. That doesn't matter too much. Yeah, the bit's torn there, you see. Never mind. What I shall do is just stick that back in place afterwards. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll stick that back in place afterwards with some, um, well, some sort of glue. I've got some of this stuff here. So it's 3M stuff, so that can stick it down fine. Right, so let's move this clear out of the way. See, it's quite sticky and mucky. I don't think I'll reuse that actually. That's gonna that's be past past it now. I'll just pull the rest of this off here. bit left there and pull the rest off there so I can put some new stuff on there so now you have the now TV box um, it's very nice dark transparent blue color very nice indeed so you're gonna need a torque screwdriver I've got a torque screwdriver, screwdriver here and um, the bit you want I'm going to just check the bit size. Yep, yeah, that's the one. I'm going to want a Torx T7. Hopefully you can see that in a second. Get the light up here so you can see it. No? Come on camera, focus. Anyway. It's a Torx T7 bit that you want. screws. One, two, three, four. Earth yourself first. I attach the bare metal of my PC chassis to earth myself. And then undo the screws. One, two, self-tapping screws by the way. There they are. You can wait quite a time for this camera to focus sometimes. Anyway, three, four. Yeah that's a torque T7 bit guys. Now they're out, <coughs> excuse me, the bit for the screwdriver. The box is now open. And there you have your wonderful innards. I'll show you inside that in a second. At the back there's a little back plate which you just lift out with the with the PCB. That's a little PCB there, there's the back plate. 
put that to one side and that is your now TV inside that's when the autofocus decides it wants to focus again that's better there we go let's take a look at the processor shall we let's see what kind of processor it's got on it I know it's an ARM chip apparently it's quite similar to the Raspberry Pi chip ok a Samsung K4 P2 G3 24ED AGC1 some sort of ARM chip you've got some NAND flash there um, Toshiba AL3523 there you go there's your IR sensor at the front here this tall thing here um, Broadcom wireless chip is there BCM 59021ML25G whatever that is and there's your AV output port this little port here, black one HDMI port there power jack 5.2 volts, 1.5 amps there's an unpopulated Ethernet port there that apparently was is present on the Rocky or Roku there's an unpopulated USB port there and various other bits have been left off because obviously it's a cut down rocket um, let's look at this chip here for the sake of being thorough let's look at this little chip here AKM4430ET whatever that is you can see that OK underneath got a shielding can just here um, there's some sort of board num revision number there these numbers here an unpopulated <coughs> excuse me an unpopulated micro SD card socket um, this is probably JTAG and serial header here this multi-pin header vias um, on the other side you can see it on the other side just here um, yeah there's some sort of that sticker there at the top can you see that is that a bit too bright let me put the light back a bit that's better this sticker here anyway have a good look around there's obviously some sort of BGA chip that's supposed to be on this on this uh, pad here but it's obviously been left off I presume that's something that's included in the Roku, the Rocky um, give you a close look <coughs> excuse me whispering, I'm somewhat, somewhat asleep next door there's the close look at that BGA area very nicely designed unit actually what else can we see underneath? Ah, yes, here we go. You've got some antennas. Now, that there, bring the light back. That there, want to get the magnifying glass on it, is a wireless antenna. You'll probably see it better without the magnifying glass. This blue strip here. Here's a wireless antenna. There's another one just there. Surface mount wireless antenna. If that means anything to you, CQC ML1H61.60. No idea. Um, yeah, so there you go. That is the Sky Now TV. Um, internet streaming box. So, put the back plate back on, like that, or the right way up even. 
I'm doing this all back to the front. Actually, what you could do, what I did last time, I took the other one apart, was get the back. Sorry. Is that right? No, that's wrong. Here we go. Get the back. That's the back of the rock, of the uh, TV here. Put this part in, in place. You see it sort of slides on top of these plastic bits here. There's like a lip that sticks out and it, stick, and it sort of engages in the lip. So then what you do, you get the board, the PCB, and you put it in like that. Actually, no, that's upside down. I'm doing, I'm doing this back to the front, sorry. Right, <laughs> silly me. Best thing to do is get the back plate. So this is right way up, you see, that's the right way up. Get the back plate and put it in upside down, like that. You see this lip around the edge here? In a second, when the camera focuses, you'll see the lip. There's this lip here sticking out around the edge. So we, what you'll do, so the light's a bit flickery, you put the back plate in there, slide it down, and it sits in there like that, you see, upside down. Then get the board, and push the ports, put the HDMI port into the back plate, and there you go. It's back together. Put the lid on. Put the screws back in, which I won't do on camera because it would waste your time. And then put the rubber foot back on, which um, it's going to need some. Going to need some of this um, this 3M adhesive I've got here. This is from an old iPhone repair. Some 3M 300 LSE double-sided glue. Going to use that to stick this back down with. Anyway, that is the sky. No TV box. Tear down. I would tear down the right control, but it seemed to be sort of clipped shut. I don't want to break it. It's sort of clipped shut. I'm sure there's not much interesting in there. Um, let's put the batteries in. Actually, I had no idea. Gonna break the seal, the batteries with a blade, carefully piercing the plastic wrapping. So put them in. And I'm gonna zap you. <laughs> You've been zapped by now, TV. <laughs> There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye.